So what we're looking at uh, today is we actually have the uh, dollar uh, at a place that we've seen it before. <laughs> um, we've seen the dollar at this same exact place before. And so uh, one of the things that was just uh, shared on a coaching call that we have uh, on Wednesdays is that uh, we have the 20 pair moving average here. And because of the, uh, at the time, uh, it was sitting on its 20 pair moving average. But what I was sharing is that the, the natural bias with it being underneath all of its moving averages uh, and because of the move that it's had uh, off of uh, off of uh, the weekly open and off of the wild card area, naturally the bias is uh, for uh, to as far as off of this bounce is if it does not show strength through that longer period moving average being the 20 period moving average, then it's a rejection. And so again, it made two attempts here. So after that comes back down um, here to the 20 period moving average and is now getting rejected from the 20 period moving average. So tomorrow we do have Powell speaking again. Um, and so when Powell speaks again, we'll see how the uh, dollar uh, responds uh, to him speaking uh, later on in the day. Uh, we also have uh, for um, uh, for the euro, we have there, uh, as far as uh, President Lagarde, uh, that uh, speech being uh, there uh, in the afternoon, as well as at night, we have uh, for uh, the Australian dollar, we have their monetary policy statement. And so um, all of those uh, will uh, move uh, each particular currency. But what we're watching, um, again, we're looking to see what the dollar does. We talked about this uh, earlier on the call as well. So again, underneath 138, uh, it will need to be caught by a moving average because the next location underneath it is a major quarter area. Um, so it will need to be caught by a moving average. Um, here in this area because there's nothing else uh, to catch it. Um, and so uh, its moving average will uh, need to catch it here in order for this to uh, continue. And then we also see for the UJ idea, again, this rejection at 151. Um, and so we'll see how this continues to respond at 151 because again, we have been getting some nice, uh, nice little consolidation here in between uh, 151 and the uh, minor quarter level of 150.75. So um, again, another area uh, for us to watch there. We also have for um, the uh, the other ideas that we share that have news that, that's coming out as far as the euro being one of them, uh, the euro uh, here uh, above 107. So again, looking to hold 107 does have its 100 getting ready to cross over. Uh, it's 200. Uh, that would put all of its moving averages in order. Uh, this one is down for the week. So that is something to be mindful of. Um, because again, that area, uh, depending on what is said, that area could be the particular area of sell off, or this area could be the area where new buyers decide to show up and push price up. Um, again, right above it, it does have this uh, major quarter area. So um, that's going to be uh, interesting to watch, um, as well as uh, knowing that the Australian dollar has their uh, monetary policy report as well. And so with this one being in the um, near term neutral because of the bounce up, then it bounce down because the fact that it's moving averages are going sideways. But right now in the more near term, uh, more bearish after getting uh, this loss of its 20 uh, kind of dropping here above uh, both uh, this as far as the 64 cent area, that minor dime area, and then bouncing back up uh, to its 20 period moving average and then getting rejected, rejected, coming back down. And this 20 period moving average continually pushing it back down to these long period moving averages where it should be able to find support. If it cannot find support here, then that's where it breaks down. So we'll watch that idea. Um, again, uh, we have these ideas. So you can look for EJ as well. EJ is doing something that it hasn't done in a long time, a very long time and over a decade. We talked about that on the coaching call as well um, as uh, with the AJ idea. We have this one here uh, losing its 20 pair moving average. So it will need to regain this 20 pair moving average. Again, looking for support here from its um, 50 pair moving average, but also uh, currently finding support here above uh, this uh, minor area here 
um, as well. So uh, continue to keep this one on watch to see uh, if this one does continue to drop as it has been doing uh, for uh, the first part of the week, or if it does decide to uh, break that downward trend that it's in um, and bounce off of uh, its 50. Um, but again, that 50 area is the area to watch to see uh, what this trade decides to do in the near term.